First, you need to understand your product. Most of the salespeople, the problem is they don't know the maximum use of their own product. Once we say the right contact, it means like who is evaluator, who is approver, who is decision maker. So it's like a trust building exercise we need to do. What is your chemistry industry, uh, the, the situation? The margin has shrunk. Uh, new players have come into the picture. So the margin, what we were enjoying, uh, eight years back or seven years back, we cannot enjoy that margin. At the same time, uh, the business uh, growth has not been expanded that much as much as the margin has shrunk. You know what I mean? Can I know what are the, the, the pain points of your industry? The challenge is, as I said, uh, new competition, new small vendors, new competition, the uh, first challenge. Second, pressure on margin, as I said. Uh, yeah. That first, like once we were enjoying like 25% margin and at the same time, now we are struggling to get 8 to 10% margin, you know what I mean? So the, this is second challenge. Third challenge is phosphate prices, like rock prices, phosphate rock prices. Where did you find a new customer attending conferences since we are in this field so okay we know some basics uh, so we have subscription of uh, database related to our industries like yeah. if i have to get some information about fertilizer industry so we have subscription of ifa afa argus you know so we have that subscription if if we want to increase uh, if you want to increase something in water treatment, so we have some subscription. So it's like a data intelligence, market intelligence we are focusing on so that we can approach more customer. Mm -hmm. First point. Second point is we are we are asking our team to travel more and meet the customer in the person. Like for example, we have some customer in Turkey or in Russia or in, uh, in Brazil where we, we don't have, we have no team. So we are asking our people to approach them. Based on your, your sales management experience, um, can you offer some tips to have someone new close the deals faster? For example, if you are not in the need to buy a home, anyone will come, you will keep wasting their time, but you will not buy. So when we need to focus for a faster deal, we need to focus. What stage of our project is on? Whether it is at nascent stage, whether it's an implementing stage, whether it's a commissioning stage. Can, can you tell the process from uh, finding new customers? I mean, generating leads to follow up. Like as I said, like there is, you cannot follow a very straight procedure. You need to find out what is your product first. And who is the end user? First, once it is clear to in your brain that okay, this is my product. First, you need to understand your product. Once you understand your product uh -huh. and how many and in how many places this can be used. For example, if I if I if I take a chemical SNBS, sodium metal bisulfur, this product is not only used in only water treatment, but is also used in aluminum industry. It's also used in in some different smelting industries. So. You need to understand what is the maximum use of your product. Once you are done with that exercise, then you can go on the internet, on the data, on the, the subscription like you. And then you can, first, most of the people, most of the sales people, the problem is they don't know the maximum use of their own product. After generating the leads, what steps uh, uh, we, we will do. Oh, the after generating a lead approach, our first step is always approaching the right contact in the company. Once we say the right contact, it means like who is evaluator, who is approver, and who is decision maker. No. You know what I mean? So okay, we okay. need. Okay. So so for example. A person who has generated the inquiry is a very low grade person. Yeah. Okay, he from him we need to gather information who will approve the product, what is the procedure to getting approved this project, and who will decide the project, like final thought. Yeah. yeah. 
we need to so for that we we need to do presentation we need to rapo building of our company that how we are better than others in terms of our presence in terms of our pricing in terms of our authenticity so it's like a trust building exercise we need to do um how has ten data assisted your company that's what i said that we want to find a supplier for example i am buying from china and uh, vietnam right now and if i find like okay there is some good source in thailand uh, and uh, what functions do you use um, the often products name like what is the products in such a, we go in the product okay mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, what functions of ten data do you like best actually the the function like uh, i like it can give us the origin country and destination country so this so that i like that if i if i want to find something from china to india i can find it so easily that helps us